Hello everyone and welcome to the SharePoint Developer Training Course Programming C Sharp 4.0 Lesson 5. Today we're going to be talking about relational operators. You're probably familiar with these from math class. So let's go ahead and open up Visual C Sharp 2010 Express. At the top you'll see today's itinerary. Again, relational operators. Uh, the greater than symbol, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, equals and not equals. So let's go ahead and uh, write a little program to demonstrate how to use these relational operators. The first thing we're going to do is create two variables. Make them uh, integers, my 5, we'll just make it equal to 5, and, and my 10 equal to 10. Now the next thing I'm going to do uh, you're probably not familiar with. I'm going to create what's called an if statement. If my 5 equ equals my 10, it'll write line true. Else console right line false okay so now basically what this is again it's an if statement if this is true which we know 5 does not equal 10 um, it would print true but it, it's not true so it should print false so let's go ahead and test our program and it, and it writes out false so we you know basically uh, we can test it and make it true let's see my uh, you know what we'll just do this and what do you think we're gonna get true obviously right so now let's test the uh, greater than it's great is my five greater than my ten false how about is it less than my ten is my 5 not equal to my 10? Obviously, so it should be true. So that's basically um, relational operators, and I, and I urge you to go ahead and test out this program. Make, you know, make the same program and test it out if you're unclear. Now, one thing that we're also able to do, remember, is uh, store, remember those boolean variables? So let's go bool my result. Okay, so and then we'll just do my My 10, and you see what I'm doing here, my result. So basically I'm just storing this my result, uh, which is a boolean, it'll hold a true or false, because remember, all of these uh, relational operators will either return true or false, simple as that. And now I created a bool, which it says my result, and um, you know I store that in here, and then in the uh, if statement, instead of having the uh, you know, logic or whatever right in here, you know, I just uh, stored in here and, and just put the variable there. So we'll run this and we'll see if, let's see, is my 5 not equal to my 10? That's true. So we should get a true here. And then we'll just say, it's my 5, my 5, and we should get a false. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, today's lesson. Again, we're going to be going over these if statements and some other branching stuff uh, shortly. So I urge you to continue watching and uh, feel free to let me know how you felt about today's lesson. Thanks for joining us.